Suppose dark matter is the particle that has mass, obviously, and that weakly interacts. Otherwise, we would have seen it earlier, right? And let's call it WIMP, weakly interactive massive particle. Then, how can we see it? Xenon and Tan uses a detection technology called Dual Phase Time Projection Chamber, TPC. Although this is regarded as a dark matter direct detection, in reality we don't really directly see dark matter particles. Instead, we see their footprints in our detector. What about these footprints? Our solar system orbits the Milky Way. It takes about 250 million years to do that. As our solar system rotates, so does Earth. And so does our detector on Earth. By doing that, a wind of dark matter particles runs over our detector. Our detector uses xenon in its liquid and gaseous form. Xenon is a noble gas, which gets liquid at roughly minus 110 degrees. It is commercially produced as a byproduct of the separation of air into oxygen and nitrogen, a lot warmer than liquid nitrogen that some chefs use for cooking. Xenon makes only a very, very tiny percentage of air. Xenon is also very expensive. One kilogram of xenon costs around 1,000 US dollars. With its 8.2 tons of xenon, xenon and ton will be using roughly 30% of the entire annual world production of xenon. The majority of xenon in our detector is liquid, with a very small layer of gas of xenon, less than a centimeter. Now, let's say that a WIMP interacts in the liquid. What happens then? The wind particle may interact with the nucleus of a xenon atom, which will subsequently recoil. The WIMP will then escape the detector, whereas the recoiling xenon atom will be producing light by two mechanisms called excitation and ionization. These are the WIMP's footprints. We then see these light with photomultipliers tubes. More on these and how we reconstruct the 3D deposition of the WIMP interaction in our next episode.